For a look at stories making headlines around the world, and we're going to start in Russia today. As widely expected, Vladimir Putin has won a fourth term as president, taking the helm of the Kremlin for another six years. For more on this and other international news, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, just run us through how the vote played out. Well, Mark, early results and an exit poll from Sunday's election show Putin with nearly 75% of the vote, so there's no disputing the fact that he has won. A state exit poll put voter turnout at about 64%, which is just over a percentage point lower than that in, in the 2012 uh, election. Putin was hoping for a large turnout and large margin so he could claim an indisputable mandate. Confident of the win, he gave a brief acceptance speech in Moscow thanking his supporters. Thank you very much for your support. Success waits us. It is very important to stay unified, my dear people. It is very important to win over even those who might have voted for different candidates. We need this unity to move forward. And in order to move forward, we must note the feelings of every citizen. However, Sunday's election was not without its controversies. Prior to the poll, Putin's main rival, Alexei Navalny, was barred from the race due to a fraud conviction, which he said was manufactured by the Kremlin. He had repeatedly urged voters to boycott the election, and on his YouTube channel after the poll, Navalny called Putin a liar for claiming Russia was a democratic country with fair courts. As for the poll itself, there have been widespread reports of ballot box stuffing and forced voting. Russia's Central Election Commission recognized that there were some irregularities, but said there were no major violations and will likely declare the vote as legitimate. Even with the hiccups, however, Putin's popularity in his country is undeniable. It remains high despite his suppression of dissent and reproach from Western nations over Syria, Ukraine, allegations of Russian election meddling and, the most, more recently, the poisoning of a former Russian spy in Britain.